won't be able to stop this thing. So you won't be able to turn and you won't be able to stop, uh, at least with the brakes. I'm sure there's other ways you can try to bring this thing to a stop, but that fire definitely not going out. I wouldn't have guessed that, but the <laughs> little bit of fire down there definitely growing. And you just got to wonder what the fuel is that's keeping that fire going right there. And you can see it just kind of hanging out there on the backside of the rim. Uh, if it does stop, is that fire going to just basically catch fire to the wheel well? Is the fire, or is it just, uh, is it just oil? But definitely parts of the tire still coming off there. A little bit of rubber now just fell off. So we're going to, the only thing I can say is we're watching. I'm really starting to wonder what's going on. And, uh, of course, we know uh, the, this vehicle disabled, uh, definitely disabled, definitely going to be much more difficult to control. And uh, maybe that fire that we're seeing right there is actually the tire. What's left of the tire is burning. Uh, we know that uh, we've seen it in the past. Tire fires, they burn for a long time. Once they get started, it's hard to put it out. Uh, but right now, that those flames continue to get a little bit larger and larger. And I'm just really curious what it is that's burning. <clears throat> yeah. Ford Tough. I think it's just a tire. Yeah, he's staying on the 91. <sighs> 605 or 710. It's built for tough, Vinny. It'll be fine. It's probably homeless then. Yeah. You know, the truck's going to catch fire now. I bet you it's going to start the, the plastic in the wheel well. Plastic.
Well, they probably got a shot of the driver. I think the fire is better, though. Yep. <clears throat> if he doesn't get out quickly, that truck might catch fire. Yep. <laughs> Probably smells. Bellflower, Clark, Lakewood. Oh, come on, put that fire out before you stop. I would probably slow it down. Yeah. Yeah. There's not. Yeah, she's moving right now. But it. It. Where are they? Oh wow, they're way back there. They're right, right at the little bend. Yeah. There you go. This is what I wanted to see. This is it. There we go. Yep, yep, yep. <coughs> it, it's it's catching the lines on fire. That's the oil. That's oil and stuff. This thing is going to burn. This thing is really going to catch fire here in a minute. Yep. All that smoke is, is plastics and oils that are burning. Yep. If he stops right now, he's got to get out of that cab right away. Yeah. You'd think that they'd build these trucks where, yeah, this thing is going to, this is going to go, guys. This is really going to go. Yeah, we're getting too, too. Well, we're just watching, and you, you guys watched it live here as well. It's like that fire really started to pick up. Whatever, something changed in there. This is actually, you can see all that black smoke. That's going to be some sort of fed fire, meaning there's oils or something burning. That means something has cut loose underneath that truck, meaning an oil line or a brake line. We're moving Sky Fox around a little bit. Those trees were blocking us in moments ago. But the, the deal is, is that that fire is very well established. If this truck comes to a stop, 
that fire is not just going to be blowing back like that. It's actually going to start getting up underneath that engine. That suspect is going to need to get out of that truck almost immediately. Uh, he's continuing to push this thing. Also, the, everybody's been pointing out the gas tank is on that side as well. You kind of hope, and we all know, that the uh, designers of these vehicles, they understand these things and they actually set things up so that it is safe or as safe as can be. But this truck really starting to really kind of push it the best they can uh, to, uh, to keep going, and you just don't know why. Look at that smoke. This is what I'm talking about. As soon as he stops, he's got to get out of that cab. There you go, popping the door open and trying to run from this. Uh, but, uh, you know, th this is one of those things y you can run. We'll keep an eye on him. The truck is going to be a total loss. And, you know, he's actually whoa, right over the fence right there. Uh, you he's got to know that he lost his shoes. Now, oh, that's a shame. Anyways, grabbing his backpack, he's going to continue to try to run. Officers uh, from the uh, California Highway Patrol keeping it. Oh, that must have hurt. And, yeah, lo and losing his pants and his shoes. Uh, at, at any rate, uh, the officers, they might be a little bit slower on the jumping over the walls and stuff, but uh, definitely making their way around to that uh, to the area where he's running to now between the walls there uh, we're going to try to move Sky Fox the best we can to keep an eye on that suspect the truck itself I'm pretty sure almost fully involved in in flame uh, and uh, I'm just wondering if any of the California Highway Patrol are going to be trying to put that fire out Vinny can we just go look at the truck since we can't see that suspect here for a minute or two just go a little bit wider uh, and uh, he's not that far away, uh, over to the left. There you go, somewhere right in there where the, where the smoke is. Just kind of push in to the, to the right, to the right, to the right, to the right. There we go. Uh, so uh, anyways, that truck itself, I, I'm not sure where they, they, they parked it, but it's somewhere in that area right there. Uh, you know, must be fully involved in fire. But uh, again, you just got to you know, gotta wonder if maybe some of the California Highway Patrol made an effort to uh, put it out. But apparently, they're chasing after that suspect right now. We're going to move around, and uh, I can see the officers. If you go wide and to the left, fully involved. And, and you knew that was going to happen. That fire was really well established, and it, the flames were kept. Basically, the movement of the vehicle was keeping that fire from getting up under that hood. And as soon as he stopped, all that fire just basically en engulfed that engine area. Again, we know, everybody knows, there's a lot of oil, there's a lot of flammables, there's a lot of plastics involved right there. Uh, officers on the top of the screen to the right, uh, they are, I'm listening to them right now. They're trying to coordinate. They've basically got a, uh, a perimeter set up. I haven't heard the words in custody. City, but that's the apartment building where we last saw him uh, running against, uh, basically against that wall right there. If you pan up, to, uh, pan up, pan up, pan up, just a little bit, and uh, to the to the left, to the left, right there in the gap. I think he's right there in the corner. Push d down, just pan down, just a little bit, Vinny. Pan down, pan down. It's a motorcycle. All right. Uh, but yeah, so that was the area where we last saw him. But the uh, officers uh, definitely. Uh, in the in the area right now and uh, basically setting up a perimeter they haven't caught this guy as of yet but you uh, w you know you're just hoping that that guy's going to go into custody that truck a total loss I'm not sure why the California Highway Patrol not working to uh, put out that uh, fire a lot of them carry fire extinguishers okay firefighters are, are just arriving so they're going to handle the truck and the law enforcement going to try to get that uh, suspect into custody <coughs> No, no, that's an officer. That's an officer. That's definitely an officer. That, that, yeah, that's. Yep. Right. He, he did, there's, there's a couple of spots. There's some tarps right there. There. If he's in this area, they'll probably take him into custody. He might actually be underneath a vehicle. This might be one of the ones where we see the canine come in there. But it, it almost kind of looked like one of the situations where this might have been, because we're listening to the Buena Park PD, and we're, we're hearing them talk about, you know, Basically, they're talking about this guy was asleep behind the wheel. So this might actually might have been a, a crime of opportunity where a, maybe a homeless person uh, took that vehicle 
and uh, was, you know, was basically maybe even living in it. They might have a suspect uh, basically locked down in that area. Uh, you know, it's, I, I always watch these officers, you know, I, I, you know, they have a dangerous job. We watch those suspects fly over those walls, and now we have an officer uh, climbing over a wall is probably the best way to do it. Uh, but, uh, you know, again, we're just watching, and I, I, I couldn't even imagine doing that job that they're doing down there. Very dangerous indeed. Uh, but they're still trying to clear the area. They're getting information. I am here. One ear, you know, it, it is very hectic down there. They're trying to locate where this guy is, but they basically know that he's in this one block area. So they are going to continue the search for him. Crazy. Yep. <clears throat> That, that's another officer, that's another officer, but they do have their weapons out. We, we're pretty sure that that suspect not armed, but uh, it, you can clearly see that this uh, person willing willing to keep running. Yeah, and, and Vinny's just kind of inching his way down there. It, you have to understand it is very difficult to see, uh, you know, if he's in those bushes, we might not be able to see him, but the officers might have a better vantage point. And also, these guys are talking to other guys. They're not super familiar with uh, law enforcement, talking to other law enforcement. They're not super familiar with these roads, so they're basically just shouting out directions uh, to get the other officers to kind of just block this uh, suspect in. But uh, it is, uh, it, it is, it's a hectic situation for sure, and they definitely want to take this guy into custody. It is an apartment building, and you just got to kind of wonder, I mean, how desperate is this uh, person? Uh, to, uh, to maybe he might try to break into somebody's apartment or try to hide out. So uh, right now that's the fire or what's left of it. But uh, it will. Yeah, yes, definitely. And, and th we did, uh, Vinny was pointing out that there were some people outside the apartment building uh, probably unaware of what exactly was going on, but definitely were, you know, you, you just could read their body language that they wanted to get out of the area, probably seeing or hearing the uh, lights and sirens of the uh, officers arriving. And, you know, that's one of the reasons why they have the lights and sirens is kind of to warn the public about what's going on out here. Uh, there's, that's, uh, I don't believe that is the suspect, but uh, definitely has a backpack. So you just kind of got to wonder, maybe this person, uh, you know, is trying to be more clever than we think. But right now, not in custody as we understand it. They're bringing K-9 in. Right, they got to know that he was going to jump out of the truck as soon as it stopped. Who's that? What's going on there? Up, oh, just yeah, just follow him. Just follow him, Vinny. We are moving. Hold the perimeter, unknown if it's him. Unknown, unknown. <coughs> unknown. Hold it. Yeah, no, well, we've been listening, and, and the, the, you know, I'm watching and listening. The officers are saying unknown suspect, 
unknown, but this person clearly fighting with the law enforcement, and possibly when we get, when we see this person stand up, we'll be able to kind of get an idea if that was the suspect. But whoever this person was, definitely was uh, was fighting with the officers there for a moment or two uh, to to go into custody. That that makes it very suspicious. Uh, right now, you can see this guy just kind of uh, in custody. I, I, if I had to guess, I would say it's it's close. I, I always uh, kind of. Uh, amazed that when, when you see somebody running and the, in that type of activity and then you see them in custody I'm, I'm always the first one to go is that the guy but uh, at any rate this person now in custody but definitely was fighting with officers there just for a moment actually deputies and uh, California Highway Patrol so definitely a, a suspect in custody right now after a very bizarre <laughs> long pursuit with that uh, truck catching fire there at the end but uh, as soon as that truck stopped that suspect was out and running and uh, now in custody and again this all coming to an end out here i believe this is in the bellflower area but uh, it was uh, what a pursuit wow <laughs>